Let's go. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this one, we are going to talk about Ticket Symbol and IO Neo. So this is a company that we've covered here on the channel from the get-go when Neo was still trading um, under $10 as a penny stock. We covered it and talked about these guys becoming the Tesla of China. And again, those are the words that I use, the Tesla of China. And ever since then, Neo has been making um, tremendous amount of growth. And we've been covering um, some of the progress here on the channel. Uh, we've talked about them having their own sedan now that can compete with the Model Y from Tesla. We've talked about their battery swap technology and all the other good stuff that Neo is doing. So I want to make sure that we have all this information so that you guys understand why I definitely like Neo. But uh, most recently, we've seen the stock just jump um, again over like 10% for the trading day. Um, I want to make sure that we cover the reason why in, in anticipation as to how that stock is going to climb in the future. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Again, Neo is a Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer. As a matter of fact, I'm deeming Neo as the Tesla of China. If we take this stock and compare it to, let's say, Tesla, you would see that Neo is actually up 30% for just within the last month whereas Tesla is up 10%. So just comparing from a percentage standpoint, Neo is performing better than Tesla, but you would never hear that uh, from people on Wall Street. Uh, again, for transparency, I own both Neo and Tesla in my portfolio because I look at the stocks, even though they're both EV stocks, Neo services uh, the Chinese market, which is massive. That's why you see a lot of American companies trying to get into China because they have a, a ton of people uh, that can potentially become customers. So uh, Tesla is also in China, but Tesla, the number one market is here um, in the United States uh, and Neo number one market is China. So again, those are two stocks that I, I mean, I own uh, those from the uh, electric standpoint, uh, but there, there's really no conflict there in my personal opinion. So again, today's uh, focus is mostly to talk about why um, Neo stock is gapping. Uh, again, Neo stock, like most of the EV stocks, uh, ever since uh, Biden came into the uh, into office, I think that started in March. We saw this massive pullback uh, of the electric vehicle stocks. You know, Tesla pulled back, which is usually um, the catalyst for all the other electric um, um, vehicle stocks to pull back. So Neo that has seen a high of close to about um, seventy dollars pulled back to under uh, around 30 or so, even if not, dropped to like 29. And again, um, I personally saw uh, money just disappear uh, in my account just because of the price of the stock dropping. But I mean, I'm holding Neo long term, so I didn't, I didn't really worry about it because I knew this was going to pop back. The only thing that annoyed me is that it did drop when I didn't really have a ton of liquidity to add more to my position. So, um, yeah, that is the only thing that I, I, I feel bad about. But other than that, um, I'm holding Neil, I, just like I'm doing with Tesla. I'm holding them all the way. I don't plan on selling um, unless it's really, really an emergency that I'll have to um, sell it for a life or death situation. So, again, um, the reason why I really wanted to cover this is that Neo announced that they're going to have their, what they call Power Day. Um, so let me jump here and show you guys. So Neo has uh, part of their division um, of their business is called Neo Power, and this is the part where I see Neo really ramping up the pressure uh, with Tesla. So just just before we get there, so Neo does um, uh, sedan. So if you can see here. Um, they have their EC6, they have their ES9, ES6, uh, and their EPG. This is like their sports car. Um, so recently, Neo launched this ET7, which we actually did a video here on the channel covering this particular uh, um, you know, update from Neo. So now this is a direct competition with Tesla. 
in, in my personal opinion, in China, and I believe that the Chinese government is going to back NEO um, to kind of kick Tesla out of there. But NEO uh, now is expanding their NEO power division. They're making this a thing of its own. So you have NEO Day, and then now you have NEO Power Day, which is just talking about uh, the solutions that NEO is providing. Again, if you can see here in this image, um, NEO provides uh, different solutions as far as NEO Power. So you have the NEO Power Home 2.0. Uh, you have the uh, Neo pa uh, Power Plus. So the, the difference between the 2.0 and the Plus is just how quick uh, the batteries will charge. So the, the 2.0 is cheaper than the two uh, than the Home uh, Plus. Again, they have a Power Map. You have Power Charger. You have Power Swap Station, and they have I think they have their Swap Station 2.02, uh, which is now the most recent Swap Station. And Neo is boasting that they have over 250 uh, Swap Stations across um, China. So now with the, you know introducing this Neo Day, they want to bring their customers um, to kind of see what Neo is doing, not just building electric vehicles, uh, but they're also building uh, powering supplies. Again, Neo has this Neo power um, swap here where you can pull in and swap your battery under three minutes. It takes, like I said, um, it takes about three minutes. I, I, I mean, I'm just going with your word case. I haven't tested it. I don't, I don't have the car or anything or know anybody that has the car in China, but they claim that they would swap your battery under three minutes. So think about you going to the gas station, taking out the pump, swiping your credit card and all that stuff. Um, it's the same thing. It takes about three to five minutes to fully pump your gas. You can get into a swap station and get out in three minutes, which I think is brilliant. Um, the other thing that Neo is doing that I really like is the fact that Neo is now expanding to Europe. Neo just um, is expanding to Norway. They're starting with Norway. Um, as a matter of fact, once they establish themselves in Norway, they can just propagate um, across the other European countries. And from there, who knows where it, the next stop is going to be. Next stop could be South America. It could be Africa. Um, it could be the Middle East. And it could be North America. So, again, it's, it's, all it takes is that breakthrough. And it looks like Neo has actually found that breakthrough in Europe. Uh, uh, through going no way. Um, we know for sure that other European countries like uh, Germany has um, that they have vehicles that they don't want to mess with as far as Mercedes and all these and all those big names. But uh, I think Neo has a marketplace too. Um, again, no way has given you that opportunity to penetrate that market. So um, for the most part, I think Neo Day again is just to, oh, sorry. I think that. Um, July 9, the Neo Power Day event is just one of the other events that Neo is trying to use to showcase what they have, to showcase their ability, to showcase their technology, um, to showcase everything that they have. Um, if you can see here, I like this Power Mobile. And this is one that I don't even think that Tesla has even started yet. So if you get stuck somewhere, just like we have AAA right now, where you can call AAA roadside assistance and stuff like that. Uh, in this case, if you run out of power, you can call this Neo Mobile and they'll come in and charge your vehicle in 10 minutes. So, I mean, like the, the different aspects that Neo is putting together, in my personal opinion, is just making this company uh, really palatable for long-term investment. Again, we can look at this and say, oh, it's a Chinese company, but I think um, China has never had a name in um, you know, in car manufacturing, and this is their opportunity. Number one, um, it helps clean the, the air in China, all that pollution that China uh, really struggled with when they were doing manufacturing, a ton of manufacturing. And then number two, uh, China wants to really establish a, a name in itself like, hey, we do build cars in China. It's not just in, in importing cars from across the globe. They build cars in China. So I think that pride is something that Neo uh, or uh, China would want to back Neo so that um, they can sustain that. So I think, again, uh, in conclusion here, guys, I know I just went uh, so deep with this one. 
and maybe a little bit over the place. It's just because I'm super excited about the company. I'm super excited about their technology. I'm super excited about uh, where they're going. And I think that the stock uh, would reflect that in the coming years. Um, right now, as we're doing this video, Neo is currently trading at uh, 49.40. If you can see here, that was like a 10%, um, you know, uh, a 10% rise for the day, which is crazy. So um, again, uh, we want to see this thing back up to the 60s and 70s where it belongs. And then from there, that squeeze up to 100. That to me, we have, I have two uh, critical uh, 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 resistance that this thing would hit. I want that 60, 70 point uh, dollar price point. And then once it breaks that, and then we'll see 80, 90, and then 100 within that, that range. So that would be uh, the, the logical steps that I would see the progression for NEO, unless we do have some other issues. Again, NEO is still struggling with uh, chip uh, shortages, but that hasn't stopped them. They're still meeting uh, a lot of their numbers um, as far as deliveries of cars. If you can remember, we did a video, uh, I think like a month or two ago, where they actually... Um, really set a record for the monthly delivery. So delivery, they delivered more vehicles for that particular month than they've ever done in the in the history of the company. And also, Neo has a bunch of awards that they've received. Uh, they call it the Red Dot Product Design Award for their Neo um, the ET7. Again, let's go down here so you can see they, they got that for this ET7, this new sedan that Neo is building, and then they've also received it for uh, the other for the other uh, uh, the SUVs here. Again, Neo has about six or seven of these red dot awards um, based on what they've done, you know, their designs and quality of their work. So Neo. Um, just behind the scenes, again, we everybody talks about Tesla, but behind the scenes, Neo is slowly building an empire that's going to disrupt the electric vehicle space in the coming future, most especially in China. Again, like I said, they're getting into Europe, and they will see them into uh, developing countries like in Africa, in South America, in the Middle East, and maybe Eastern Europe. Um, we know very well that the Chinese government has really expanded in South America, in Africa, and it wouldn't surprise me that they would want to push their own products. Uh, they, instead, you go there, instead of seeing Toyotas, you would see uh, Neo vehicles that are imported from China. So again, and they go out and do a lot of uh, work uh, with partnerships with governments uh, in developing countries. Who knows? They can make this as part of the deal. Like, hey, you know, you, you give us a contract. We would give you guys a bunch of uh, electric vehicles to help, uh, you know, save the environment. Again, it's just our, a ploy to, to, you know, do business. So, again, those are uh, some of the reasons why I think Neo is poised to make a massive move. And also, that's why I think Neo um, actually really went up today because of the fact that. They have this Neo Day schedule for July 9. Again, put that on your calendar. July 9 is the date for the Neo uh, Power event. So Neo is going to come and showcase what they have from the perspective of uh, power and what they do in that space. Again, like we said, there's a bunch of things that Neo is doing and making this a separate division that's really going to stand out on its own based on the services that. Um, they're providing. So let me know in the comment section what you think. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Webo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get free stocks. Links in the description. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.